Okay, Hydro back again. So today I just uh, I decided why not do a, prof uh, a professions video? Uh, help people get started with professions and understand what they what they do and how how to focus what you need for your character in specific, uh, specifically. So first off, nor normally bound. From the uh, default and opens your professional window. As you can see, I've got three uh, three tasks I can do. Uh, hold on. Uh, while I'm doing this, uh, pretty much professions help you uh, advance. It's it's crafting. It's that's basically it's crafting. Uh, let's make this fifty. Okay. Shoot, messed that up. Fifty. 50 charcoal. You have to. Uh, okay, I'll get to this in a second. Okay, so pretty much how it works is you have different slots for professions. When you start the game, you will have a single slot. The fastest way to get a second slot is to get a one of them to uh, one of your professions level three. Now, the easiest way to do that is. After I start this, is leadership. Leadership is the easiest, easiest of all the professions to level up. The majority of the time, it only requires the asset, which is the character uh, you recruit. Uh, you can you can hire more, as you can see here. Hire a mercenary it gives you a second one. Uh, the way. I don't know how to explain this, but it makes it really simple. You just kind of just go details, start task, that's it. Drop down, add an asset. Uh, assets decrease the time. Another mercenary will make this five. Uh, will make this five percent faster, so it will be an hour and fifty-four minutes instead of two hours. And eh, it doesn't really help with this with the shorter ones. Um, the really big ones, it does help. It really does. Um, as of right now, I didn't even think about this. Can I cancel this? Yes. Because I can continue add asset. And that makes it an hour. That cuts off 30, 35 minutes. I'll start that. I didn't even lose much time. I actually gained, uh, now it's 12 minutes fast. Uh, It'll end 20 minutes sooner than it would have. Okay. So, based on your class, you you want to know what kind of armor you you have. Based on that, that is what you want to choose. That's the one you, uh, of the different work, uh, so, Guardians and, uh, I believe just Guardians wear plate mail. Uh, the majority use, uh, mail smithing. And level work, so light armor and uh, and medium. Uh, the control wizard uses uh, clothing, which is uh, under tailing. So the main the main two you want to get up is your leadership and whatever arm, whichever armor you have. Those are the two main. Because if you can create good armor yourself, you don't have to go out and pay for it. That's more gold in your pocket. And as you get go to that point, you will have armor that you can sell and earn more gold yourself because you already have good armor from drops. Easy peasy. You also want to choose which... Either if you use an actual weapon, you want to choose weapon smithing. That will be your third. Uh, I'm doing uh, art fishing uh, for necklaces and... Uh, and because my weapon is underneath, underneath here, that is my weapon. Uh, so you want to have leadership, your armor type, and your weapon type. Those are the easiest ones to do and the most helpful for yourselves. Now, on to where they get all the material to do all this stuff. First off, map. Scroll out. Here we have Protector's uh, Enclave. As you can see, the protected, uh, Professions Vendor is right here. 
Astral Diamond Shop here. Uh, uh, Sergeant Knox is right about here. This is the place where you can uh, that special invoking uh, site. Just pretty much come down the stairs, come this way, come down right here. Easiest way, find them. Click on the map. It sets a little waypoint there, and it'll do that little sparkly trail all the way to here. Easy, 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 easy. Now, you may some of this stuff. You oh, I should buy this. I just realized that. Let's give me 50 of these. Okay. Pretty much, some of the stuff you cannot find in the world. Uh, by what I mean, in the different uh, different kits you can use. Um, so as a cleric, I have the rel religious skills, so I don't have to use a religious kit at all. Um, so you can get. The majority of the stuff you need to craft for professions in the outside world by using the different uh, kits, such as uh, artificial uh, arcana, the nature kit. Let's see which other ones I have. Uh, I don't have any others. Let's identify this. Uh, sidebar. <laughs> oh, good. Seventy defense doesn't give me regen though. Hmm. Uh, I prefer recovery. Let's go with that. Let's open this. Okay. Yeah, see, I just got two kits out of that dungeon hearing kit. Save your dungeon hearing kits for it, not the blocks, not the simple, like, dungeon hearing, uh, little, little, uh, thing you can use it on. Save it for, in dungeons, though, actually, uh, special areas you can access by using a dungeon hearing kit on some, on a object. Uh, so always keep your eyes peeled. No, that's not a little sidebar, but always keep your eyes peeled for the for the sparkles, uh, for inter to show that what you can interact with because it is always helpful. Um, yeah. Uh, okay. So back to professions. Recap: Leadership. Your armor type. Your weapon. Those are the best ones. Uh. Once you get leadership to level 3, that's the easiest one. You get your second one, and that makes it really simple. I'm above level 30, so I have my third one. Uh, I have yet to get anything to level 10. So, as you can see, these are all the levels. And they keep it really simple as to uh, separate them out based on the levels. I kind of like it, but... Yeah, very simple. Uh, that's about it. Uh, thanks for watching. And peace.